The Color Purple is a musical remake of this Steven Spielberg classic, which introduced you to Whoopi Goldberg back in the day. This is based off the version that hit Broadway stages not too long ago, and it stars Fantasia Barino as Miss Seeley, just like she did on Broadway. You also have Taraji P. Henson, Coleman Domingo in here. And if you know the story of The Color Purple, you pretty much know what you're in for. Seeley is torn apart from her sister and her children, so she faces many hardships in life. That includes an abusive husband who goes by Mr. played here by Coleman Domingo. And with support from a sultry singer named Shu Gavery played here by Taraji P. Henson, as well as her standard ground stepdaughter, Celie ultimately finds extraordinary strength in the unbreakable bonds of a new kind of sisterhood. If there's one thing I can tell you the color purple has, it's passion. The emotional effort that's being put into every move in this piece, it is just unbelievable to watch. And this is coming from someone who didn't see the musical version ever, but now that I've seen this movie, I definitely want to see how it's done on stage. And reasons why I'll get into in a little bit, but I definitely like to talk about this direction by Blitz Bazawule, I believe the director's name is. Man, this is such good direction. Such a vast array of wide shots, you can see every piece of choreography super clearly. And the choreography itself is freaking dope and clean. I mean, as some of you know, I do musical theater myself on the side. And uh, man, if I could dance like some of these people... Yeah, my life would be a lot easier <laughs> going to auditions and whatnot. The musical numbers themselves and the songs are just so filled with soul. And I just think the way these musical numbers are presented and directed and shot, it's all super beautiful to look at. Speaking of beautiful man, Fantasia Barino. I remember actually seeing her first on season three of American Idol. That's the season that she won. And I remember kind of thinking I was looking at her through that whole season as a kid and just thinking that she was a massive underdog because a certain someone on the panel didn't really like her all that much. But America voted her in and she won in the end and she is very successful now. She's doing movies, she's doing Broadway. And I'm so happy for her. I can't wait to see what else she does. I'm hearing some Oscar buzz for Fantasia Barino. Man, that would be really cool if she got nominated. I, I don't know. I don't know yet. I mean, these best actor, best actress categories this season, heated. Danielle Brooks, on the other hand, absolutely give her a nom for best supporting actress. She's reprising the role that she originally played on the Broadway stage. And she sings the heck out of what turned into my favorite musical number the entire flick. If you think she falters at any point in that number... Hell no. All these performances in here are great. You have Corey Hawkins in here getting some nice character work. Coleman Domingo is super menacing in this movie. And there's a good chunk of this movie where you hate this character, but the redemption that he goes through, man oh man does he milk it. He is so great. Taraji P. Henson as well as this club singer is so great. I had no clue that Taraji P. Henson could actually sing all those notes. She just continues to add layers and new elements to her talent, and she is just, like, she's magnificent in the movie. Now, for those of you who watched The Little Mermaid earlier this year, y'all know that Halle Bailey is in this movie, per the trailer. And if you know the original story of The Color Purple, you will know that Halle Bailey is not in this movie for very long. She's very good with what she gets. And I can't wait to see what's next for her beyond Mermaid and beyond Color Purple. But don't let the trailer deceive you. Halle Bailey is not in the movie nearly as much as they're advertising. But this was just a really solid musical movie overall. Now, do I prefer this or do I prefer the original? With this styling, I feel like I'm leaning towards the original. And here's why. Even though I love the musical numbers and I love the soul that's being put into them, I don't know, the styles and the thematic material that they're encountering with the color purple, sometimes it doesn't mesh as well as I would like. And I mentioned earlier, I would love to see the color purple done on stage because I almost guarantee you that it's presented better than the movie is. Even though this movie is very good and very emotionally investing, I just feel like with certain directing choices that were made in the movie, especially as it pertains to time jumping, I feel like the stage definitely presents that a lot better. And that kind of material where you're jumping from one certain time frame to another, and there's certain directing choices that are made in certain dream sequences, I feel like those are much cooler on stage. Because you translate it to film, and some of those dream sequences kind of look a bit confusing. I'm just nitpicking though. This Color Purple is a great remake, a perfect holiday movie. Warner Brothers knocked it out of the park this year with their musical style movies. I'm gonna give The Color Purple an A-. 
Certainly some buzz at the Oscars for this one, and it's well-deserved. Let me know what you guys thought of the color purple down in the comments. Do you prefer this musical version, or do you prefer the original from Spielberg? Because I love discussing all new things in movies and entertainment here on the regular. This is a great community to be a part of if you guys love discussing all those topics. So please do consider subscribing and tap on that thumbs up today. That would be a huge help. Stay tuned for more videos very soon as we ring in 2024. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much again. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence.